everybody welcome back to my channel it's lauren loves and today i am very excited because we are opening and unboxing and doing a review on the jeffree star velour liquid lipsticks i have one of the bundle sets it is i have the information right here it is the red mini bundle set by jeffree star cosmetics it is on beauty bay and it is 45 pounds um, I have it right here, it actually came a few days ago and I didn't open it because I wanted it to open it with you guys, so I have the box here again, I have my dress girl, I don't know what the hell goes on, all my Beauty Bay boxes come like this, now I know it's not Beauty Bay's fault, it's maybe the courier, courier, courier's fault, but girl, what the hell? Sort this out. Like, crusty. Anyway, so we have the red collection, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mini lipsticks in here. And today I'm going to swatch them all and we're going to do a try on haul for you. So let's get into the video. Okay. Now, purchased from Beauty Bay before, I'm going to show you everything. So, <laughs> comes with these. What are these? This is Poofy paper. <laughs> Here it is. And then, all you get is like a packing slip or whatever. Bye. Look at this, this packaging. Whoa, it feels expensive. It feels sexy. It feels nice. Um, I'll be honest, this literally feels like I'm getting a PR package from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. The packaging is that nice. Um, I don't know if this was Jeffree's goal, was to make everybody feel like they're getting some PR or something like this, or to give everybody that kind of feel. But, oof. Quality. This first, so it says here, love me, love me not. So this is magnetic, which is nice. He does a few of these sets as well. He does um, ones for uh, nudes, blue blood, and I think he also does a rainbow one as well. Wow. <laughs> Give you guys a close up of these. So pretty. So in here, starting this way, let me just check. Yeah, starting this way. So we have this one is called Doll Parts. Then we have Calabasas, Wifey, Watermelon Soda. Oh, I already have this one. I already have Watermelon Soda. Nice. Um, Anna Nicole. And then we also have Prom Night. Red Rum and Unicorn Blood. Unicorn Blood sounds good. Yeah, wow, so it comes really nicely packaged. Again, everything feels really luxury, really thick, really high quality. Um, but I think this is what Jeffree's known for by now. Like, these those of you who have used his cosmetics before and have used his things, you know he is all about quality. And this is what drives him and his business is quality of products for his consumers. So I'm not shocked that it's high quality. Um, it doesn't surprise me at all. Um, these look so good. You know which one I'm excited for? Prom night. Yes. Oh. So cute as well. So yeah, this retails for £45. Um, you can get it on Beauty Bay. They do a few others, like I was saying. Let me have a look at the back for you. So <clears throat> inside we have all the ingredients. So I am guessing that these are not uh, vegan as they have beeswax in. So something to note if you are vegan. They are cruelty free. It does have the uh, Leaping Bunny logo on the back. And it says that this packaging is recyclable, which is important. And it does say you have a 12 month 
uh, usage time from opening the bottle. And then obviously it has links to his website, his Instagram, and his YouTube down here as well. They were made in the USA. Um, pretty much all the information. I mean, I can read the ingredients, but really, I will link it down below so you can have a look and check it out yourself. Um, because there's a lot of ingredients in all of these, but I, like I say, it does have these wax in there, so it's gonna be good. Just know this. So I'm gonna go on with the swatches now. I just can't. I just love this, so I don't want to stop touching it. Like. Yeah. I am gonna start with Unicorn Blood. So this is Unicorn Blood here. give them a shake before so it has a really nice dofa applicator you can see it is yeah it's called dofa not dofa dofoot it's angled it looks like it houses the product really nicely it's pretty it is like a dark rich Smells like vanilla menthol. Oh, that smells nice. Next, I'm gonna go on to red rum. This one here. I can see how this one already is drying down and it looks different when it dries down. It almost dries down a little bit lighter which is quite nice and it dries like, to an even matte colour. Prom night, yes, I'm excited for this. I'm gonna start with this one as well on my lips because, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Such a gorgeous pink. <clears throat> Next we'll go on to An with Anna Nicole. I'm gonna give it a good shake. This one is sort of separated. I think it probably just needs a really good shake. Yeah, just needs a shake and a stir. They all have like a very similar scent to them. That's much brighter in person. You can imagine this when you are on holiday, on the beach. Yes. Watermelon soda. <clears throat> now I do already have this one. The one I have smells like watermelon, so I'm interested. Yeah, it smells like watermelon soda still. The one I have is in a yellow packaging and I bought it I don't want to, it's not second hand, but I bought it, someone else owned it and then sold it on to me. And it came in like a, in the, this tubing, but it was yellow. And when I think about it now, I've worn it once and I'm thinking, is this fake? The one that I have, that I got before, for the comparison. This is Wifey, right here. It's sort of a lighter version, more orange tone of Unicorn Blood. Sorry, my swatches are not that perfect. But yeah, next is Calabasas. Now this, this looks like my jam. Oh my goodness. I am super excited. You know what, when I can get my hands on the other ones, I would 100% get them and swatch them for you guys. Let me know if you like this kind of video because there's a few other lipstick sets that I really, I'm like, wow. Do you know what? This colour, I've been looking for this colour for so long. It's kind of like, it's my lips. It's better. It's prettier, but it's my lips. This is what I've been looking for. And this is literally 
The one. Yes. You know what? I've been trying to refresh my lipsticks because um, there are some brands that I don't really want to support anymore. Um, personal reasons, kind of. And I don't know how you guys feel, but I don't like to throw away good makeup that is good just because I don't like a brand or a person or something I don't want I'm, it, this is not about Jeffree Star this is about a different brand completely I actually used to work for them and um, it's not that I want to stop using it because I make it this good I don't want to throw it away and be wasteful I want to use it up then not repurchase so I want to find alternatives um, and I've, I've been really needing to refresh my liquid lipstick collection because I have a lot of liquid lipsticks from that brand and um, it's not something that I want to, it's not that I don't want to promote it because the product is good. I just don't want to use that brand anymore. Um, so yeah, this is Doll Parts. The one thing I will say is considering it's like a red collection, you don't get, a, there's not that many reds in here to be honest, but I'm not mad about that because I like having a variety of colours, so this is actually perfect. Oof. This is all the colours. Oops, oh no. Make a can of this. So you open it, close, you think it's tight, and then you click. Okay, so before I get into these lip swatches, first thing I want to talk about is what I have on my lips. So, I prep my lips with the <clears throat> MAC Prep and Crime Prep and Prime. It's called Lip Scrubbertitious. Should not say Scrubbertitious, not Scrubbertitious. Scrubbertitious Lip Scrub. This is in the Sweet Vanilla Lip Scrub. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to use a Jeffree Star lip scrub, but I don't own one yet. And this is what I had in my makeup drawer. So this is what I used. So I prepped my lips with this prior to foundation um, and everything else. So my lips are nice and smooth for this. And then following that, I use my Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask, which is this one here. Girl, I want your fudge. Um, and just to show you the consistency of both and show you how much I've actually used this lip scrub it's not a lot so in here the scrub is like a nice grainy I think it's a sugar scrub so um, it tasted sweet like I ate a lot of it so it tasted good now let's get into the swatches <laughs>
I have tried on every single lipstick for you. My final thoughts on the lipsticks is they are all scented slightly differently and the formula is really actually nice to work with and quite glidable in a sense of wherever you put it on. My lips are feeling tingly but I don't think it's the lipstick. I think it's because I just put on like eight lipsticks or nine. How many is in here? I don't even remember. Two, four, six, eight lipsticks. I just put on and took off eight lipsticks in the space of like 20 minutes. So this is why my lips are tingling. I have a few favourite shades. I would say my favourites are Unicorn Blood, which is what I'm wearing right now. Unicorn Blood is my favourite. Uh, Prom Night as well, the hot pink. Um, I like Watermelon Soda as well. So these three, these four, these four here, these are my favorites. So we have Dolph, 
girl. No. Okay. <laughs> so we have, how can I do it like this? Doll parts, watermelon soda, prom night, and unicorn blood. These are my favorite ones from this collection here. They are all beautiful, but these are the ones that I definitely think, honey, they, what the hell? Over here, please. Thank you. Now, would I recommend this set? I'm gonna say yes, I would recommend this. Mostly because of the variety of colours that you get. So you don't have a lot of money to spend. And I actually got this when it was on the Black Friday sale. So I only paid £34. I got obviously it's basically I got like £10 and something off, maybe even a little bit more off this which to me is worth it for all of the lipsticks and all the products that you've got if you're unsure of whether you like the formula or not i would say order one see how if you like it and then order the boxes but these boxes are really good value to test out the shades and see what colors you like especially as it's a us brand and there isn't in any stores in the uk so it's really hard to test the shades and know what you actually want to purchase because he has so many shades. Not complaining. Not complaining. I like her. I like her choice. But he has so many shades, and it's really hard to see what they look like online, even through videos. It can be a little bit more difficult. I hope this video was helpful in that sense. But it can be difficult to figure out which shade you want to get. So these boxes are a really good way to try out multiple shades in one go and if you love a few of the shades once it runs out you can purchase the full size because you know that it's perfect and you love it and you're not going to waste your money i think the biggest thing about this is wasting money and you can't really go wrong with this you know if you, if you don't like a shade give it to your mom give it to your sister give it to your best friend give it to a co-worker someone that you really like and they will enjoy it if you don't because um, you are bound to find some shades in here that you absolutely love. Trust me. But no, I hope you super enjoyed this video because I actually had lots of fun filming it for you. I actually love filming makeup videos. It's so fun. Um, and I'm hoping that this will turn out how the vision in my head is because I can see a vision of how I want the video to play and how I'm going to edit it. Let's see if I'm good enough at editing to make it as flawless as I want to. But before I go, you tell me, what was your favorite shade that I tried on? Or what are your favorite shades? Comment down below, because I would love to know. And if you own this or you've used this before, what did you think? Or did you end up buying it because of me? Let me know, because I wanna know. I find this kind of stuff interesting. Let me know. Anyways, as always, I love you so much, and I will see you all very soon. Bye. Gotcha.